Sure, we can pack, we can ride, but what then? The contract's dead. We've got no reason to stay. You're the only ones breaking camp. Because Saul doesn't know when to quit. He's stubborn as a mule. In college, you have to prove it. Because he's head of the family? Because the Aldecaldas stay together? No, the rest will stay here in camp. I want patrols every half hour, reporting directly to me. Are we preparing for a visit from Biotechnica? Or a fourth corporate war? The Raffins could surprise us at any moment. You're not blowing this a little out of proportion. I don't want any more surprises. Besides, we look good, aware, prepared. <laughs> You're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. Do you think Got I'm... no fucking clue what's going on here. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? We're pissing Militech off, so they hammer us into the dirt right here. Shit! Pan Am, can you please tell him? I've already tried. Let it go, Mitch. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. I thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us. And we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess. Whole thing's your idea. How did you know? Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes. A craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay. So you do want to go behind Saul's back. And drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations, like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. You guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. Thought you and Saul agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You want to fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life, yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. And you plan to grab the basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. 
Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn sure. Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know. But you guys. A few years back, nobody would have given corporal work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. It's all too easy. Convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need. Coming your way almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Intel on the convoy, where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay, thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any traps? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Let's go. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp? Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. The better to make a good second impression on the Biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed they would not. The Raffins, what about them? You expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though, uh... Never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie? I'll remember that. We have arrived. like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the Basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Sol would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay, the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. 
V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. The tower looks inactive to me, too. Now we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. What are you two doing? I'm finding my inner peace before the storm. While well, Teddy is just being dead weight. Love to join you. Respect your efforts. Self-respect breeds self-discipline. Once you have both, you have real power. Drink and always breed the...
thoughts? I just feel like people expect some motivational bullshit from me. A goal, a love, and a dream are what breed a real man. Truer words, brother. Have fun, kids. Hello there. Have you come to make yourself useful? Um, got a use for me? Not particularly. You don't really know why you're here, do you? Pan Am asked me for help. Mm-hmm. She came back to the fold, sweet-talked Mitch and the rest over to her side. But still, she calls you. Interesting, isn't it? Even if we pull it off, Saul will be pissed. I can see his face already. Remember when we first met? You almost had a pound in your pants at the thought of falling foul of Saul. I don't recall leaving Pan Am high and dry, though. Now you're gonna stick it to him plain? Something change? Uh-huh. I realize Pan Am is right. How's it going over here? Fantastic. We have everything hooked up, and nothing works. Uh, it works, though not reliably. V, could you scan it? Because I am not open to the prospect of taking it all apart again. Capacitor's damaged. Third from the right. Indeed. Hold on. Let me swap it out. Time to try it again. Hey, it works. Thanks, V. Need a hand? Of course. But in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. Huh, that was quick. Got a little help from yours truly. I've always been fond of trains. And the stations where so many tracks converge. 
<laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Okay, here we are. Sure thing. Not here. Nada. Not here. Some sort of Stone Age control panel. Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, V? The card. In the reader? <sighs> Here goes nothing. Engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. Missed you. Pretty bad. Oh, well, this means. Oh, wait, just, just wait. This is not how we usually talk. Don't have to if you don't want to. No, it's not that. I also wish to talk about it, just... 
not so openly. My plan was to tiptoe around, test the waters, then retreat back into my shell. Sounds like a plan. What went wrong? It seems you saw right through me. Didn't have a clue how you'd react. You're not the only one shooting in the dark. I would not want to cock this up. Well, that's a start. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh, noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close, if only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right. Let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. We could still Sit your check. ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already there. <laughs> Hurry up and wait. acting spooked, as if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. Jackie.
don't talk about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. And it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh-huh. But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay, it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. V? Did you just doze off? Growing kinda cold out here. Not true. But this is nice. Catch some shit eye with me. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Yeah. You do? Oh dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, B. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V. to speed. They're going faster than we thought. I don't know if we can catch them. Uncouple one of the cars. It'll speed you up. V, no coming in high. Take out that coupler. The damn coupler!
Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V. to speed. They're going faster than we thought. I don't know if we can catch them. Uncouple one of the cars. It'll speed you up. Wait, no coming in high. Take out that coupler. How's it going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting for Mitch and Teddy.
lost the Militech channel. The suits finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing, if you ask me. I can talk to him if you want. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Fuck! Head out! So it begins. meaning of this exactly what you see the basilisk all i see is two trucks with giant militech logos on them fuck pan am you can see them from miles away you think we don't have problems enough on our hands the raffins could rear their heads at any moment and now we have militech to worry about too stop it fuck just shut up already do you want to serve corporations forever fine go right ahead in that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Let me play it. You can watch. The road is the greatest teacher. I think something went wrong. <laughs> to say, I guess. I can talk to him if you want. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Fuck! Pan Am! So it begins. of this exactly what you see the basilisk all i see is two trucks with giant militech logos on them fuck pan am you can see them from miles away you think we don't have problems enough on our hands the raffins could rear their heads at any moment and now we have militech to worry about too stop it fuck just shut up already do you want to serve corporations forever fine go right ahead in that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. 
Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seem to still be in fine working order. Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. War vet's barricaded himself at home. The neighbors heard shots. Figure out the sitch and keep me posted, okay? Sending details now.
Claire, hey. Finals upon us, V. Big day is here. Sure is. Wanna meet up? I'm already here. Yep, but listen. This will be highway driving, so we'll want a machine that runs on lightning. Your choice. Your rig or my beast? Let's go with mine. I got a better feel for it. No problem. We meeting at the starting line? That's right. Wait for me there. Away from me, you whack. No remorse? Not a bit? None whatsoever. What's going on here? Samson. Dixpert thinks I'm gonna let him go. Mm. You're dead. You hear me? This your new driver? I'd get out while I could if I were you. Claire can't seem to keep her partners alive for long. You motherfucker! Truth is, Dean was as shit a husband as he was a driver. Head swelled lots larger than he could manage, and he paid for it. Face the facts. I didn't kill him. His ego did. You're a waste of organic matter, Samson. Claire, stop it. We got a race coming up, damn it. You're done! Fuck off! <gasps> Claire, come on. Save some steam for later. Do something for me, Dean. Yeah. Give you your favorite massage. Stay there. Bring some friends. We'll celebrate. If you win today, we gon' take you straight to paradise, motherfucker. Okay, folks. Get to your rigs. Time to crunch some steel and bash some heads. Everyone ready? Three. Hold on. Get on his butt. 
I know. Go get him. Turn back. I'm heading for the finish line, Claire. What the fuck did you just do? Fuck me. This isn't happening. best. I can't deny that. What the fuck did you just do? I finished the race. That was my one chance. Don't you get it? Oh, Stop. Me. Getting out. Ah. No offense, but I need to be alone. Walk this off. Okay? Of course. The market, the market is ah. No. You satisfied? Was it worth it? Claire, calm down. I did what I did to keep you out of trouble. Claire, I saved your ass. You saved my... No, you saved his ass. And now he's out of my reach for good. Didn't give a thought to trauma team? He gets in an accident. They swoop in, chrome to the teeth, and pack an iron. You robbed me of my one chance to find justice for the man I loved. Hope you're pleased with yourself. I'm out of here. some friends we'll celebrate where did it happen if you win today we gonna take you straight to paradise Muffin. okay folks get to the rings time to crush some steel and bash some heads everyone ready three two one Hold on. Any chance 
just take the wind out of his sails. Get on his butt. Claire, please don't! I, I, I didn't do anything! You pathetic worm. Is that so? Hey, no, please! Don't let her do this! Claire, I beg you! Jesus, Claire, what, what the fuck do you want? I, I didn't kill Dean! Zip your trap! He got himself killed for fuck's sakes! Please let me go! Don't talk your way out of this. What's he talking about? Does it matter? Just try to save his skin. No, please, don't let her. I didn't kill her husband. I said shut your hole. Claire, wait. I want to hear him out. What for? What do you got to say, Samson? Dean tried to pass me just before the finish line, but he, he lost control. You rammed us. Even so, is that against the rules? It's this kind of racing. Is that true, Claire? Samson did what anyone would do. It doesn't matter. The bastard killed Dean. He has to pay for it. What do you want from me? You kill like everyone. Claire, it was an accident. It's racing. I loved him. Loved him more than life itself. And now I'm supposed to let this, this, I'm supposed to let this shit go? That what you expect? Yes, Claire. You let him go. Ha! Huh, you're fucking kidding me. He might be a grade A corpo shit, but he didn't murder Dean. And flatlining him won't make you feel any better. <laughs> Fuck. Claire, please! I can't even tell you how lucky you are, you fuck! I can't! No killing, then. Let's go, V. Before I change my mind. Let's get out of here, V. Please. Mm -hmm. All over, huh? Guess so. Your husband. What was he like? He liked to sleep in. I'm forgetting more and more. I'm scared I'll lose what's left of him. Won't forget what matters most. How he made you feel. Yeah. You all right, Claire? What? Why? You look pretty down. I'm not. To be honest, don't think I feel anything. It's okay. It'll get better. What will? Well, everything, I guess. You'll move on. The only place I want to go right now is my liquor cabinet. Any desire to do it again? Team up? For a race, I mean. No, V. In fact, not gonna race ever again. Ever? Ever. That was something we had. Something Dean and I shared. I just needed you to get Samson. Beast is yours. Wait, what? You're giving me a rig? It's not mine. It belonged to me and Dean. But since we are no more... 
Take care, V, and watch those turns or you'll end up wrapped around a lamppost. Hey, V. Come on in. Pizza's getting cold. We're in the kitchen. Recently announced a new visa program. You made it. Good. Grab a seat. This is Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Hey. Nice to meet you. When I heard what you pulled at Clouds, shit, I so regretted I was off that day. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? Were you and Evelyn close? Yeah. Blew up in her face when she showed up back at Clouds. She was supposed to be long gone, the one who got away. But deep in my heart, I was glad to see her back. She likes such a gonk now. Come here, cause you want payback for what happened to her. That's for sure. Though some 
But I just want to have a normal job, too. No fears, no tears, you know? You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? Suddenly comes naturally to you, doesn't it? Yeah, odd, given how much work I gotta put into it. By the way, Boris didn't show up for work today. Or yesterday. No shit, I wonder why. I got sick, maybe. Or hit the lottery jackpot. Bought himself a ticket to the moon. Hmm, could be anything. Done saying hello to each other? Revolution won't plan itself. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. Only on WNA. You'll air it out later. Mr. Stern. Fine. I'll sit by the window. Don't be soft. Upgrade. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on Tom. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. Tech that's all pros and no cons, I don't buy it. Side effects, spill them. Combat mode auto-initiates when a threat is present, and uh, there's no way to stop it. Can't find a workaround. And that's it. I don't know. Only way to determine that would be through months of testing on a range of subjects. There's an ethical side, too. You could murder someone and not remember a thing. How'd you ever come up with this? Learned how the behavioral chip works at Clouds. Always seemed like they must be pretty easy to modify. I'm surprised I didn't get the idea the moment we walked into Maiko's office. Count yourself lucky. What with all the cams and mics and Clouds? Tiger Claws would sooner dig those chips out of the dolls with screwdrivers than let an idea like this run its course. All right. Gotta see it to believe it. Finally. Someone said it. Tom? Last year, the city council of Night City absolved... Pulled that sequence from a kung fu training virtue. Among them were Kang Tao, Arasaka, more technologies, and dialogue. Put together... The gross income of these companies is one in the tens of millions of Euro dollars. The catastrophic city of... Gotta admit, not bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Uh, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. I want to see a fight. Got an expert in causing bodily harm among us. I want to see how Tommy handles him. V? My name is Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! <clears throat> what the? Ah! Everything chill? You okay? <laughs> Look at me go! You see that? Woo! Gotta do some, some cardio! Say. Just say it. Who, me? This is my impressed face. Nice work, Judy. Outdid yourself. If you were to sell that, you'd be the richest Judy in the NUSA. Please. Plenty of killing machines in the world. I don't want to turn more people into them. After this, chips are getting micro-nuked. Okay, okay. That probably sells it. The chip works. Let's get to it then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out. Clouds will be ours. Bosses, we'll give an ultimatum. 
a cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again, and having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half-baked, insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Hiromi Sato? Who's that? Cloud's real boss. He rarely shows, but you can't so much as sneeze without him finding out. Claws trust him, respect his opinion. He is one of them. We can try to convince him, but it's doubtful. We stand a better chance by injecting him with a dose of fear. Where do we find this, Hiromi? At his apartment, H8 Mega Tower, topmost floor. It's a penthouse, almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. Tom and Roxanne gonna come with? No. Hole points to strike both places at the same time. They'll take care of business at Clouds. Two pronged assault. Loving it. This just might work. If we get him in his apartment, where he thinks he's completely safe, bosses will understand what we're looking to demonstrate. My, my. There's a flickering in that skull sponge of yours after all. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Sticking our precious necks out for a bunch of whores? Rather not have to flatline anyone. What he said. Hope is it won't be necessary. Overpower Hiromi. Humiliate him. Should be enough. Bosses will put him out of the game. Don't make Count me in, Judy. I already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. I'll set up the meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do, well, usually comes with a price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. Judy? For real? No, don't want to hear it. But you... Beb, beb, Not a word. Ah! 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 V, everything okay? V, you don't look so hot. Uh, uh, okay. Okay, I'm better. Uh, fine. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna clep. <sighs> Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip. Well, long story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. Fuck. Anything at all you can do? One can hope. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home. Ah, shit!
ready. Would you like to drive it? Sure. Be there soon. Fuck me. It is all. Awesome. <laughs> so I hear. The 54th anniversary of the AHQ disaster is fast Who would have thought? In 2023, Perilous future. Electropunk? I'd rather puke out my ears. Someone likes getting their feet wet. Don't need to be an expert to tell the gears pro. Radiation sickness. This tragic incident, which some ultimately attribute to Arasaka's wanton imperialist tendencies, has forever left a mark on our city's history. And now, an important message for Watson residents. The homelessness problem facing the district is Okay, I'm gonna end this episode. Thank you for watching, see you next time, bye.